Hey everyone, today we are going to see server roles in Microsoft Action Server 2010. So for Action Server 2010, 5 server roles that can be installed. The first one is Client Access Server Role. The second one is Hub Transport Server Role. Next is Mailbox Server Role. The Unified Messaging Server Role and the Edge Transport Server Role. Here, the Edge Transport Server Role is optional for your organization. It depends on the organization requirement whether they want to install this Edge Transport Server Role or not. So these five server roles that can be installed for Microsoft Action Server 2010. First, we are going to see detail about Client Access Server role. The Client Access Server role, as the name suggests, the Client Access Server is the server that connect users to their mailboxes through the clients like Outlook, Outlook Web App that is accessing Outlook on browser or accessing Outlook emails on mobile phone that is ActiveSync. So the client access server authenticate and redirect those requests to appropriate mailbox server. It handle all client connection to a mailbox. The client access server does not check the email content coming to the organization or does not hold the email messages locally. It just accept all the incoming requests and emails and route it to correct mailbox server. And this role basically works on HTTP and HTTPS traffic and it handle all email routing between action server and outside the wall. So we can say that the client access server perform the task of connection point for all your users to their mailboxes both internally and externally. In addition to all the services, the client access server provide other important services such as the availability service which shows the free busy data of your Outlook users. Suppose you are scheduling a meeting by Outlook and you want to check whether the room mailbox or the user with which you are scheduling a meeting is free or busy. This free busy information is provided by this availability service. Next is auto discover service. This is important service. This service helps to receive profile setting and locate the action services. This service plays an important role while you are configuring your Outlook profile. Next is mailbox server role. Mailbox server role hosts the database that contain mailbox and public folder database. So all the mailbox database related files are stored in the server role. This mailbox server role can be made highly available by configuring the database availability group that is DAG. In this, the message record management or retention policy, we will create a policy like emails which are older than two years should be moved to archive or the emails which are older than five years should get deleted from all user mailboxes or we can create other policies as well as per the end user requirement this server role handle email address policies for your organization the email address policies in which we can decide which format the primary smtp address should look like or by which format the target address should present in our organization with all this feature, the mailbox server generate the address list. The address list or the address book gives you the list of all recipients that are present on your mailbox server. It also generates the offline address book. Next server role is Hub Transport Server role. The Hub Transport Server role is responsible for email routing within your exchange organization. We have categorizer which is placed on this Hub Transport Server role which will perform the important task of recipient resolution and content conversion and the email routing within your exchange organization by which it will decide whether the email is sent to the internal user or the email is routed to the external user. It decides the details with the help of accepted domain that we configure in our exchange organization. Apart from categorizer, we have the submission queue and delivery queue are placed on the server role. By this queue, the email is submitted to categorizer and the email is delivered to delivery queue, which will route the email to internal user or the email will be routed to internet with the help of the destination email address. The next server role is Unified Messaging Server role. The Unified Messaging Server role in Action Server 2010 that integrate users voicemail with Exchange email. So this Unified Messaging Server allows an exchange organization to store voicemail and faxes along with email, calendar and contact in your user mailboxes. This server role allows user to access their voicemail feature via the smartphone, the Outlook, 
or the webmail as well or the other outlook email client as well so you can send or receive the voicemail with the help of this server role so the last one is age transport server role this age transport server role is optional for your organization and this server role is designed to sit in the dmz network of your organization to provide smtp connectivity and email flow for all the incoming and outgoing to your organization this age transport server role provide anti spam and anti malware filtering so this age transport server role scans all the incoming emails and outgoing emails to your exchange organization it will check which ips are allowed to send email to our exchange organization and from which ip the email should get blocked it will check for all the sender email address recipient email address which domains are blocked which domains are allowed we can create other policies as well with the help of this anti spam feature so this age transport server role provide anti spam mail flow rules as mails enter and leaves to your exchange organization if you have any questions or suggestions please do let me know in the comment section and finally thanks for watching